in the nighttime. Watch what she doing the light shine. Drunk nigga try a little story time I guess I don't know what I'm gonna call it while I'm doing this but basically I got hit by a car about to tell y'all what happened so it's Friday obviously it's pay payday and I'm just gonna bring this mirror still so I can see I think it's gonna cover this like cover the camera a little bit. I'm gonna do it this way. So I was going to the bank because one, I needed to withdraw some money, and two, I needed to renew my card because my card was expiring next month. And I'm like, I don't think I'm ever gonna be coming to the bank before it gets any closer to October. So I'm like, all right, let me just get this done right away. But the thing about my bank, like the lobby area is closed because of like COVID. So I had to like stand in the area that um, cars are at because like I don't have a car. <laughs> um, so I did that and I was like, it's not my first time doing that. I've done it before. So I was like, all right. And surprisingly enough there was actually another lady who was in the lane beside me standing there too i guess she didn't have a car i don't really know what was going on maybe she preferred to save some gas or something but yeah she was standing in the lane beside me and get her banking done so i think they only have like one person working at the desk area the lady like that works at the bank she was just feeling really bad she's like oh i'll be with you right in a moment i'm like it's fine like i can wait i'm not in a rush at all like it's fine so i'm standing there i'm waiting and the lady comes back and she's like oh i'm sorry i'm still tending to the other lady in the other lane um but can you send your card and your iv through the slot so i send it over still standing there waiting whatever and I'm glancing like I'm seeing cars pass by and I'm like hopefully no car comes behind me because these cars might hit me you know I'm thinking but I'm like in my head I'm also like you know people have common sense nobody's gonna hit me for real and um so then a couple cars are passing by, whatever, cool. Um, and then all of a sudden this blue car pulls up. Now it pulls up, I'm like whatever. It pulls up and continues to drive on me. And I'm like, what the fuck is going on? So I start banging on his, um, what is it even called? It's not the trunk, it's the front part. I can't even think of it right now because I'm still in shock. But the front part, and he finally stops. And I'm like, you didn't see me standing here, like, but I was obviously not saying it in a clean manner. And he was like, no, I didn't see you. <laughs> and proceeds to continue to laugh. And I'm like, I don't know what's funny. But then I've also heard like in this area, these old people out here are racist okay i'm trying to not be cursing but they're like super racist and um yeah so that didn't really surprise me and i'm just like more annoyed with the whole fact that like the whole brianna taylor verdict has like came out what it is or he could just be straight up racist but yeah and then like the crazy thing was it's like it's one thing to bump somebody but he continued to proceed to drive on me and my body shifting and bending over and i'm like this man's body so i'm completely in shock yo my face is a mess okay but i'm completely in shock and i'm just like what how did this guy just try to run me over so I, the lady finally comes back 
or associate comes to help me and um I'm just still in shock so I can't even like focus on what she's telling me but I'm trying to figure out I'm trying to wrap my head around the fact that this old pastor just hit me with his car and the lady in the other lanes who saw the whole thing she's like oh my gosh are you okay and I'm like no I'm not okay like what the fuck and you know I was like I really didn't know like what to do at this point because I'm like I'm not from here so it's not like oh a family member can come at hand and give me some type of assistance or whatever so I call 911 call 911 and and I'm like Kaya just got hit by a car on purpose excuse me because obviously it has to be on purpose because I'm wearing a green y'all seen me in my other videos my green fluffy outfit and so I wasn't blending into anything so she's like on purpose I'm like yeah standing in the drive through area for banking and this guy hit me with this car and was laughing so then she's like, okay, um, what's your first name? And I tell her, and what's your last name? I tell her that. And then I'm like, I can give you a description of him too. I took a picture, everything I told her, his license plate, his car. Um, and I was like, she was still struggling. I don't know what she was struggling with there. Cause I repeated it like several times and she was like for some reason she thought I was saying T instead of P on his license plate so that was one part she was struggling on but um what's that gonna say hold on let me Ooh, that's why I need to start cleaning my brushes this is a scary thing so she yeah she was struggling with like figuring out what his um what his license plate information was and then i finally figured like okay what's taking so long i didn't say that i was like just wondering like what's taking so long so then i was like um i repeat like what i told her and she's like oh is it t and i'm like no it's p like in peter she was like oh and i was like yeah is it possible for y'all to like come quickly because I feel like he's gonna leave he's gonna leave the scene so um she's like yeah well I'm trying to get the information in strike one then she was um she was like okay um where do you think he's about to leave I don't know this man personally how am I gonna know where he's leaving to so I'm like I don't know like he looks like he's leaving like the bank area and she's like well can you go and find a street and I was like okay I can try but like I'm really in shock right now like I'm not even like thinking straight so then she's like well if you look for a street then I would be able to get more information there's only one type of this bank in this little town you can find it so that was strike two then she had the nerve to say after I told her I was like oh I'm trying to but I'm in shock she's like well there's no reason for you to be rude dial button we're done talking so i just hung up on her because like excuse you don't they teach you basic customer service and in, in the 911 hotline or whatever and i don't know what type of training they're doing there but they maybe they need to update it because that was really crazy but yeah so i just hung up on her before that she was like oh police officer's on its way but can you tell me the street and I'm thinking, I'm like, I really don't know what street this is. I'm not from here. I said that. That's when she wants to talk about, oh, I'm being rude. Girl, what? Talking to you in, in a calmest voice I can. I just got hit by a fucking car. So, um, I'm just like, whatever. I go to the area that I was supposed to meet the lady from the bank so I could get my car back. Um, 
she's asking me if I'm okay. Like, I'm just over it at this point. Um, and then, like, from I go to like the little ATM area because that's also I have to stand in the area where the cars would be. And I see from the corner of my eye like a cop car, but I'm just ignoring it because I'm like, at this point, I'm just over it. Just with that whole experience with that rude 911 dispatch person. Um, I just leave it. So then I'm just walking, about to go back to like the little bus area so I can just get back on campus. And I'm just seeing like a car <laughs> going slowly beside me and I'm just still ignoring it. Um, and it's the cop car. So then he's like, oh, are you the one that called about um, an accident? Or he said something like that, I don't really know. I said, did I, was I the one that called basically? And I was like, yeah. He was like, what happened? And I told him, I was like, I just got hit by a car. I was waiting in the drive through area. It was on purpose, because he was laughing. The guy thought it was quite funny to hit me with this car. So, the officer is now like, so did you get hit by the car? I was like, yeah, like he pushed my body with his car and continued to drive until I started hitting on the front part of his car. Ooh, this eyebrow messed up. I'm gonna have to redo it. Lord. Um, where was I at? So then he was like, oh, and then I told him like, yeah, I, he like, he pushed me with his car. So it was like, so did you really get hit by it i'm like i'm done talking about this and i walk away and he's over here yelling at his car do you want to do a police report is that a yes or no go to hell so i completely walk away making my way to the area so i can just go back to campus and i'm like i'm still in shock so i'm like i don't even know who to call because like the police are no help and oh my gosh i feel like i'm missing something um the police are no help and then the guy like drove off that hit me um so i just call like the first contact that i see and i call my cousin but the thing about me is like i'm not the type of person to like call for oh my gosh what's on my eyelid um i'm scared um i'm not the type of person to like ask for help or anything like that so i was like i'm just call first person i see call my cousin i'm like i don't even know who to call right now but i just got hit by a car he's like what i'm like yeah i was standing in the standing in the drive through line because my bank's lobby's closed and this old man hit me with his car and proceeded to laugh as he was doing it and crack jokes and my cousin was speechless but I also felt bad because like he has he's a new father so like more focused on that but it was like a spur of a moment thing for me because I just really didn't know what to do with them not being any help and where I'm at so what happened so he just kept on saying wow wow like he was in shock too and I'm like <laughs> okay um he was like, do you want me to get you a, like a Uber or Lyft to take you back to campus? And I was like, no, it's fine. Like, I can wait for the bus. And he was like, I think you should really like go like now. And I was like, um, all right, well, I can, I can get, get it on my own. But I want you to pay for it, obviously, because you have a new baby. So... 
he's like okay i'm gonna call you back he calls me back probably like 10 15 minutes and he's like so what exactly happened i tell him i was in the drive through area because the car drive through area because my bank's lobby is closed and my card's about to expire next month which is next week um and I need to get a new card. So, standing there waiting for my card to be returned to me. And this guy drives up and hits me with this car. More like tries to run me over. Um, and he's like, I think you should go to the police department and file a police report so he can be charged. I'm like, I spoke to a police officer and he was not taking it seriously. He kept asking me questions I already answered and wasn't like he was not taking it seriously. So I don't even want to go there and I don't even know where it is because I'm not from here. So I don't know where things are. So. This is so annoying. One eyebrow is nice, the other one is hideous. Um, but yeah, I was just like, I'm just gonna go back to campus. Like, I can't do this. So he's like, all right, like, he was even like offering to come and see me. But I was like, it's not even, I was like, okay. I just kept saying okay, cause like, I wasn't even in a space to even think. But, um, I later on just text him like, oh, it's not even necessary. Yeah, I was like, yeah, it's not even necessary. I have a child. I do not live close from where you live at all. Um, yeah, it's fine. So, and like I said, I'm not like the type of person to, um, ask for help or anything like that. So... Um, where was I at? So yeah, I just got a lift, got back on campus, and here we are. So, yeah, I got hit by a car. And I was more bo bothered by the fact because I hope Breonna Taylor is like, this is a delicate time for black women, and for this to happen, it just really just threw me over the edge I was just like that's crazy how unprotected women black women are they want to fetishize us and all types of crazy activity uh, but yeah and this video is not for attention at all but I just wanted just need to get that out out there but as y'all can see, I only got one eyebrow. This one's not done, obviously, but this one is coming together. All right, well, y'all stay safe and keep hair flipping on the haters.